Good morning and welcome to another episode of Josh and Pat. I'm Joshua Klein joined by Patrick Cassett and we have another week of playoff football. And Patrick, we didn't do this on Monday show and so I think it'd be good to have a moment of remembrance for the teams who have not made it to week two of playoff football. Okie dokie. So, Patrick, this week there are some big games. The Cowboys are playing the 49ers. Cowboys, let's remember, they were like one game off from being the number one seed, and instead they were a wild card team. They went in and they beat the brakes off of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And some people are saying the Cowboys are really good. Other people are saying that the Buccaneers are just an 8 9 football team that probably shouldn't have been in the playoffs. Definition now, of below average. Exactly. And so a lot of people don't know how to feel about this game in in San Francisco because on one hand, a lot of the country loves the Cowboys. A lot of the country is big Cowboys fans and they think this is their year. But on the other hand, the 49ers are playing so well, it's hard to imagine that they can actually get beat. I mean, what are we thinking here, Patrick? Do we think the Cowboys have a chance? Yes, the Cowboys do have a chance. The Cowboys are a good football team. They were a week and some help away. They were a win and a help and some help away from getting that number one seed. Here's the thing. I'm not a believer in the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not a believer in Dak Prescott, but boy, did he shut me up after Monday night. Okay. You bet that you bet the mortgage of this company on the Buccaneers and that didn't work out well. So here we are. We look like two idiots. I'm yeah. also an idiot. I went 0 for 4 on college basketball picks last night. We were going to talk about this later in the show, but you did. It was bad. Just get down in front of that. We'll get to that later. But look, I think the 49ers win this game. They're my Super Bowl pick. What scares the hell out of me is Brock Purdy. And because he scares me, it's because we've only seen him in, what, six, seven games? Like, the man's got to make a mistake at some point, right? Eventually. I mean, he's, he, he hasn't lost yet, right? He's he perfect. hasn't lost yet. So you can't. So I'm not going to yeah. bet against him. Him or the 49ers here? Statistically, that would be... That's what I'm saying. Well, Mattress Mac is doubling down on the Cowboys. Now, we talked about it last show. He was he put a lot of money on the Cowboys. We thought he was crazy. We thought Bucks plus three and a half was a no-brainer. Turns out, Sportsbook knows more than we do. Right. And, and now, he's doubling down. And I hate to say I'm going against him again because clearly, in my lifetime, that's not really worked out for me. No. But I, I am going against him. I think the 49ers just get the job done. See, and that I also mean, doesn't, Brock Purdy, because why am I going? I just don't like that, Josh. I don't like when we have the same pick. I, I just don't like that because normally why would you? I, no, I want to let you know. I went perfect last week aside from two games. <laughs> well, I mean, that's. that's I, went, I was, un, I was undefeated last week, Patrick. That's I was 60%. undefeated. I was undefeated minus two games. Minus two games. Yeah. I was undefeated. Yeah. And so yeah, I, think and I had like a four or five GPA minus, you know, one point. So, <laughs> well, and also you've, well, that's, uh, we, we can work on that. Three, five. Oh, look, I'm okay with it. We're, we're accepting that. <laughs> the point is, <laughs> well, but, but, but look at this too. Look at this, Patrick. Um, picks and pancakes hit last week. So, I mean, I, it's, we didn't, we didn't want it to done. hit, Josh. That was the most somber hit of the year. I know, but, I'm just saying things are turning around for the picks that I'm, I'm I'm placing. I think that this week I could really be hot here. And yes, I'm going against Mattress Mac, but I think San Francisco 49ers get done. I mean, like this, Brock Purdy is undefeated. I bet against Brock Purdy before. I bet Tom Brady against Brock Purdy. That was literally probably the worst bet I've ever placed or anybody's ever placed, right? And so, yeah. so I, I'm done with that. He's burned me before. I'm not letting him burn me again. 49ers win. And I, I just think that all it takes is Dak Prescott to like make two mistakes, three mistakes, four mistakes, which we've seen him make. Maybe five. And maybe five. And I, I think 49ers get this done easily. Moving on, Patrick, the Jacksonville Jaguars. They were a team that we, we've talked about this before. They had back-to-back -back number one picks. Usually when you have back-to-back -back number one picks, yes, you're getting good talent, but that you're usually means you're going to be your bad organization. You're going to be bad for a while. Turns out Urban Meyer might be the reason 
that Jacksonville is so successful. Because if you think about yes. it, him sucking really helped put them in a good spot. Well, not not only him sucking, it was it was his off the field activity too that helped turn him in. So really, you can yeah, you, you, you can argue that his effort that he put into the Jacksonville franchise last year is why they're in this position. So yeah, and I don't I, I don't know what he said to Trevor, but he must have said something really impactful. I mean, because <laughs> you think about it, we're, we're yeah, we're saying oh, now that Trevor is no longer under Urban Myers, that's why he's having all the success. I say. It's because of Urban Meyer's development that we're finally seeing the fruits of his labor. Think about that. He was a college is, coach, so he's he knows how to develop players. That is true. Uh, in this game, though, Josh, I, I got to roll with the Chiefs, and it's pretty simple. You'll see when this episode's out, we'll have a blog post up of all four of us in the PicksAndPancakes.com. We all did a little joint effort. We put in joint effort. We did. Weekend. We did. And you're going to see why I take the Chiefs. And the reason why I take the Chiefs is because you don't want to be an idiot betting against the Chiefs. Okay. It's, it, it's, it's well, pretty much the, that the, simple. It's the Chiefs already are out. A better team. Did, did anybody pick the Jaguars? Um, I, I'd have to roll through it. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure everybody's on the Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to not pick the Chiefs here. The Chiefs are the Chiefs. They, they're coming off the bye. The Jags had to literally give everything they had to win that game. Now, granted, well, you could argue that if they just don't go down 27, zero, they yeah. probably are in a good spot. Don't throw four interceptions. You're probably in a good spot. Yeah. That being said, that's the kind of the team the Jags are. They're going to give you the bad. They're going to give you the good. And this you is, know, they're, I, the, they're the, they're the Jameis Winston of NFL teams. Right. And you know what, you know what big media always taught me as a kid that lives What's big media. Lives say? Me? Teams off a very emotional win. They don't play well the next week. So boom, chiefs, and speaking of teams off of high emotions, Buffalo Bills are playing the Cincinnati Bengals in a game, a rematch of a game that really technically on paper never took place. Well, yeah, it didn't technically. Yeah, didn't take place. Should it was going to take place. Week 18 did not take place for obvious reasons, for the right reasons. That being said, we are all very excited to see how this plays out. I'm being told that Damar Hamlin probably not going to be at the game, which kind of, I mean, I'm not saying it affects my pick completely, but that definitely was, when I when I gave you my picks for that blog article, it was definitely in my head and it definitely was a contributing factor to me saying, I think the Bills are going to win this game. Yeah. But now that Damar's not there, I still take the Bills because I saw the Bengals play a Ravens team that, let's be real, had a complete collapse after week eight. They just continually got worse. Now their defense, they did great. I, hey, we love the defense. Hey, we love thank the, you, we support thank the you, defense. Thank you, thank you, Roquan. Yes. And which I would never have thought that I'd be saying Mike McDonald is my hero, but he figured things out and he figured it out quickly. Thank you, Mike. Is that guy married? He's an eligible I, bachelor. He's in his thirties. I mean, Mike. Let's McDonald, get him on the show. Maybe yeah. we oh, get him we, on the show. We hook him up. Right. We love Mike McDonald. That being said, the Ravens' offense is was with a backup quarterback and very little weapons. Now, great, good run game, but still very little weapons. And they were able to go toe to toe with the high scoring explosive offense that is supposed to be the Bengals. So they were not. Do I think that, do I think that, yeah, they, they did not look explosive. Now, granted, great. Like we said, Ravens have a great defense, but Mm. I'm just going to say, I think, Cincinnati is a very stoppable team, and you're not going to win by scoring 20-whatever points against the Bills. Josh, especially with their offensive line trouble, and that's part of the thinking why I also take the Bills here. But a very funny thing this week, we talked about it a little bit the last couple weeks on the show, how the Bengals were very unhappy with the coin toss and then maybe the new game, right? Well, now they found a new thing to pick the NFL on. And that the oh. NFL is selling tickets to an, a possible neutral site game next weekend in Atlanta, which uh, Joe Mixon was not happy. Um, the the thing that I think the Bengals don't understand is they're also selling tickets for a possible game against the Jaguars next week because they would host that game. So they're they're just saying that the NFL's you know looking ahead too far to the neutral site. Well, if you want to fix that, just win the damn game. And it sounds like they don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we know the neutral site? 
Yeah, it's in Atlanta next week. Are you going to go? Dude, you know those tickets are going to be like five hundred dollars. You know, you know, Rod's yeah. out there going, ah, you know, you know. We, hey, you know, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get you uh, we'll get you a picks and pinkies press pass. Yeah, if I get a press pass, I mean, I'll be there field level. You know, me and Jackson, okay. you know, we'll be down there. Me and Jackson Mahomes. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, so we'll get you we'll get you a press pass. Um, we'll hook you up, Roger. Hit our business line, and yeah. uh, and we'll get things going. Um, okay, well, that's I, I hate how we're all on the same teams for first three games here. Yeah, that's it, it, like I said, a terrible. Song. Or, or that means it's a great, it could be a great thing. It could be a, a turning of a new leaf for the show yeah. and for our predictions. That's really sure. a possibility here. Um, okay, last game here Giants versus the Eagles. Now, Patrick, before we get into this, of course, I think everybody knows if you've listened to the show, watched any of my content, that how I feel about the Eagles frauds but what I will say is my pick today is going to be less about my feelings for the Eagles and more about my newfound love for Danny Dimes because I listen I, I didn't know much about Danny Dimes I didn't know all I knew was he was picked high and people thought Giants were a little bit crazy they were like this guy's not a franchise quarterback well guess what this guy's in the playoffs and I listened sure. to a press conference speak. I didn't know he was a Southern guy. I didn't know he was a North Carolina native. Well, he went to, he went to Duke, Josh. He was born in like Charlotte. Yes, he was. Yeah, I know. I did my research, Patrick. Yeah. I think, uh, and it, like just hearing him speak and he's just, you know, got that Southern, you know, let's uh, just get things done. We're going to work hard. We're going to oh, play football, man. And it's, it's a good, it's a good team. Man. We love it. New York Giants. Like I thought he, for, I thought he was like a city boy, you know, because he's playing in New York. I thought, right. you know, it's not the case at all. That's not the case. He's just a, he's a good old boy, and uh, and that makes me love him even more. And that's, and listen, if you look at the last time the Eagles played the Giants, I mean, it was close, and the Giants weren't even trying. They weren't even trying. It was close. Josh. So, uh, so if the Giants aren't trying and they make it close, and it's hard to beat a team three times, statistically hard to beat a team three times. I see there, but it there's isn't. no it's actually reason statistically why to beat a team three times. No, it's hard to beat a team three times, Patrick. I know that it is hard to beat a team three times, and that is why we are hammering the Giants. Eagles are frauds. Eagles haven't been tested. They played nobody. Josh. I know uh -huh. what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I said the Eagles played nobody, but they have played the Giants twice. And I just said the Giants aren't nobody. I can understand Josh, how bad that's confusing. Josh, Josh, I took the Giants too. So we just, we just, we, we, we picked the same thing. Look, I don't know. There's a vibe coming into this. I We might look really stupid because the Eagles obviously looked like they were the best regular season team. But that being said, after they got that loss to the commanders in the middle of the season to ruin their undefeated season, yeah. they haven't been playing as well. Jalen Hurts yeah. has been banged up. I know they get the bye week. Lane Johnson coming off the injury. And they just haven't looked as good. And now's not the time to not be playing your best football. So, no. Giants get a win last week. Daniel Di Daniel Dimes. I'm not even going to call him Danny Dimes. Daniel. Daniel Dimes. He had, what, 350 yards last week, 70 yards on the ground? Look I good. Mean, let's, Look good. Let's not forget, he has the same amount of playoff wins as an MVP, Lamar Jackson, and also the same amount of playoff wins as a multi-sport athlete, Tim Tebow. So, Daniel Jones can surpass both of them this weekend, and I'm picking him to get it done Saturday night at the link. I'm glad you came around to this because last week you did pick the Vikings over the Giants. I did. I, I did the did the 360. Well, no, 180. One, yeah. yeah, 180. 180. Or 540. It could be the 540. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. That um, doesn't get talked about enough if you do the 540. <laughs> yeah, because you could come all the way back around and then just go around one more time. Well, because honestly, like, or like on the Vikings, that's that's actually probably I probably came all the way around, and then I was like, ah, no. You were like, you were on the Vikings, and you're like, oh, then you're, hey, I'm back on the Vikings. Exactly. And now you're like, oh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> or like you were off, the, you were on the Giants. Yeah, you're off right. the Giants, and you were right. off on the Giants, off the Giants, back on. Five forty. Here. Yeah, that's that's a great number. Um. Okay, that's great. Well, we got our picks in. There's other NFL news happening though, Patrick. Um. 
things around the league, offensive coordinators are getting fired. People are trying to figure out who's going to be hired for where. Um, let's just Greg Roman, Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator was fired. Zero. And or sorry, he wasn't fired. There was a mutual parting of ways. Resigned. There's a, he resigned on his own terms. When apparently he had a team option on his contract. So what does that mean? Yeah, what is it? I, I, I don't know. But now the Ravens are looking for a new offensive coordinator. That's going to be interesting. Um, Ravens are also getting DeAndre Hopkins, believe it or not. Uh, mm-hmm. we're, we're raising some money right now. You can actually, if you want to support, the link to the GoFundMe is in our bio. Uh, we're looking right now for, um, how much is it? $31 million, mm-hmm. which would make him, just for one year is what I'm thinking. And then we can figure out from where we want to go from there. And that's, so that's fully guaranteed. He would make it, make him the highest paid wide receiver in the league. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're, re- we're working on that. Uh, and, and then I think we're going to get Lamar back because Lamar retweeted a picture of DeAndre Hopkins in a Ravens uniform. So I think that was him saying to the front office, Hey, you get DeAndre Hopkins. I'm coming back. Yeah. It was him and, retweeting or liking a photo in the Dolphins uniform. Also a message to the front office. No, that was like a, he that was a laugh. He was like, hey, that's, he was right. more saying that right. time. He was like, Oh, look how funny this is as if this would ever happen. Mm-hmm. Right. We all knew that. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. Also uh bucks fire their offensive coordinator. Um, uh, the name is Byron Leftwich, Josh. B- Byron Leftwich. I just wrote a blog about that. You're right. I, I shouldn't. I should know that. Uh, he's fired. Tom Brady's officially out. Going to probably play. Some are saying he's going to go to either New York or Miami because that's where his kids live. Uh, what? Yeah, that's because he has kids in Miami and a kid in uh, in New York. Oh, right, because of the separate marriages. That's right. So and so yeah, some people are saying that. That's his his places now. Some people are saying he's going to the Raiders. Wait, no, I don't he, know about that. Has he been married multiple times? I think he had a kid with a. a yes, he has. He has. He has had two wives. But he he had a kid with a a, a girl that yes. he didn't get married, right? That he didn't marry. That's what I thought. Maybe I I don't know what Tom Brady's family situation is like. I don't even know if Tom Brady knows what his family situation is like. Very good. Very good. Um, point. And no disrespect to you, Tom Brady. Um, that's just me, that's just me speculating. Right. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to see where he goes. And if you're a Tampa Bay fan, you probably feel pretty sad right now. Things are looking pretty, pretty bad. You did just get a Super Bowl, though, so you can't feel too bad, right? True. I mean, they would have never got a Super Bowl without Tom Brady. So just enjoy that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, enjoy that. Um, also, moving on to football news. Messi played Ronaldo. And what people are saying is the last game between Messi and Ronaldo and per usual, Messi wins. Sorry to all my Ronaldo stands, but guess what? Messi is the greatest player in the ever. That's um, that's it. Um, I, now they both did score. Good for you, Ronaldo scoring. Uh, and and congrats to whatever club you're playing for, Ronaldo putting a squad together. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, it's a tough look. Um, Josh. It's just very funny the thought of Messi like playing against the Saudi Arabia team right now after he just won the World Cup like a, like what five weeks ago and he's like yeah. going out there at like half speed and he's like scoring goals is what it looks like that's it's funny because any other year like he'd be off probably down still in Argentina chilling but nope you know homeboy's got to make his money he's got to come back gotcha. to the club team you know so. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know how that game was scheduled. I, I mean, I have to imagine PSG got a bag, a lot of money. That's what I have to imagine. Like, like you know how like when college football teams mm. they bring in these like FCS teams and it's like, yep, we'll give you two million dollars to come play us. Like PSG yeah. probably got like twenty million dollars just to make the trip down to Saudi Arabia. Man, I'll tell you what, that's that's Saudi Arabia Arabia money is is deep. Have you been, uh, I've been, I've been all of a sudden live like, um, golf yeah. league or whatever They're all over my social media. Really? Yeah. They're really trying to get me interested. And I, I don't know if they know this. I'm not actually interested in golf that happens here. 
<laughs> like so <laughs> guess what you're not getting my attention for golf so not here you know just wrong target audience like i'm not your talk yeah like I, I don't know the social media team needs to really clean it up over there because i'm not your demographic <laughs> that's what i'm saying they that get is- a lot of hate though they get a lot of hate i was looking at the comments they there's a group of american golfers that are not fans they some people hate live but like the thing that live's been able to do is they're clearly like an enemy yet they've like stolen a lot of really good players yeah you know what i say patrick what live and let live could have been better but yeah that's good thank you i i think it, i think that was really good I incorporated the branding not so I'm doing a better job marketing live than live is. I would argue that. That's all I'm saying. I, I, by the way, I am for hire for marketing consulting guys I, <laughs> to all the companies out there. Um, moving on, Colorado gets five star Cormani McLean. He's the number two cor- or player, I think, outright in the country. I think he's the number one corner in the country. He wants to go play for Dion. People are still thinking. Colorado is going to stink. I don't know enough about college football to say whether they're going to stink or not. But what I can say is I feel like they're going to stink. Well, Josh, I mean, when you win one game the year before, I mean, what are the actual expectations for Deion Sanders here? I mean, they're high. People are saying that if they don't go undefeated and win a national championship, it's a a bad year. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. If he wins six games and gets into a bowl this year, I'd say you did a hell of a job, Deion Sanders, okay? Well, <laughs> well, um, that may be. But also, if you don't win a national – you're at a big school now. Guess what, Deion? Is it really that big of a school? You have the Colorado facilities. Is really that big of a school? You have the facilities. You're the premier does, does he actually have the facility? college in Colorado, in the Rockies. If you don't put together a team that makes a run here – I think that the hype is going to die off. You know, yeah, I think Josh, yeah, because when you think of Colorado, I think a football powerhouse. That's immediately what comes to mind. Yeah, you're right, and and that's yeah. why he needs to win. I, whatever, Josh. But he, listen, he's going to get a lot of good players, right? Right. He's no, already no, getting right a lot of that. good players. And like the, the thing is, is like we don't really know how good of a coach he is. Can you imagine? Right? And I'm just and obviously I was just I was joking there. But if he does come in and like just gets like every five star and just gets a group of just guys and goes in the transfer portal and just gets a bunch of dudes, and then next thing you know, like they can make they change the program completely 180. Do you think he, I mean, he could get probably, I mean, he could get an offer to like Alabama if he wanted to, if Nick Saban was like, I'm done, he could go coach right. Alabama. But here's the thing is like, I think he makes the move to Colorado to be there for a few years. Cause that was the, that was the big jump. Go from Jackson state to, to the power five. Colorado. Okay. What if, what about this? What about this? The the Texans have another one and done coach. And you, I, if I'm the Texans, I give Dion a chance. Yeah, if I'm Dion, I'd be an idiot to take that because clearly they're just coach killers down there. They don't get no, any- no, 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 because he's going to go in the transfer portal of the NFL and he's going to get a bunch of guys and they're going to be really good. Well, by the way, I just want to say that the GoFundMe that you started for DeAndre Hopkins is essentially NFL NIL deals where you're basically like, no, 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 no. Please sign for the Ravens for like a minimum contract, but we'll give you $31 million on the side. Wait, that be here's an idea, Patrick. Isn't that genius? That would actually that'd be genius. Like you do you say like, hey, Under Armour, located in Baltimore. Say Under Armour is like, yeah, if you sign for the Ravens, we'll give you a hundred million dollar deal and, and basically make deal. it right. Yeah, personal endorsement deal. So it's not sal it's not coming out of, you know. Right. And meanwhile, like Steve Bashotti behind the scenes is giving like eighty million dollars to towards that or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then or and you could also like, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of big companies in the Baltimore area that could, could you know. Then the problem is though, like, Los Angeles, New York would be unstoppable in like three years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it'd be cool for the one year. 
that one year would be so sweet, especially like when some of the old teams couldn't, didn't figure it out. Actually, the Cowboys would also be very good. Man, that's mm-hmm. a, such a great idea. I don't know why they don't do that because it's not illegal. Like you, they could do it. Somebody could start doing it right now. Right. Well, do they do it's it? Like a, do we just not know about it? That is. What if they do? Well, then you got to donate to the GoFundMe. We got to get DeAndre Hopkins here. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Deion Sanders coaching in the NFL, though, did you hear reports that Jeff Saturday might be hired as the head coach for the Colts? It's it's I, it's not that he might be hired, but the fact that he's still get, like being given like a chance and opportunity is mind boggling. Well, if you think about it, Patrick, he really didn't have a chance to put a system in place. I one more year, one more year. Yeah, give him one more year because that's not. They're not a one and done city, the you know, the Colts. Jim Irsay yeah. is gonna give you a fair opportunity to succeed. You know? Yeah, he, just, he might just use your bathroom for a while. Dude, that story, I don't even want to talk about it, but that was a gro- that was gross to think about. Because by the way, I'm actually very like I am on team Josh McDaniels here. Well, his wife, like, really his wife. And his wife. I am a big believer that if you're using depending on what you're using the restroom for you have to do certain things in your own home. That's just what I believe. Now, some people will push back on that. Fine. That's what I believe. Okay. So some things are for your house only. It's an interesting, interesting take there, Josh. <laughs> I agree. But I do think it's funny, Patrick. That's like if I, uh, if I hired you after last night to pick college football games, I mean, college basketball games, Josh, Josh, that was bad. That was bad. So I go, I sit there yesterday. Uh, you put, you put, you, hey, you, you took a shot though. I will say that. Right, right. I took a shot. You know, I went, I offer on bets last weekend for the NFL. And I go, you know what? I'm sitting there yesterday. I go, TikTok was blowing up on Wednesday night. Shout out to you. Shout out to Sequoia Trees jokes. Um, and, you know, I'm like, okay. I think me and you were kind of thinking the same thing. You go, boom, let's put up, um, what is it? Byron Leftwich blog right i'm like you yeah know what? yeah how about i put out a blog real quick with a couple picks for tonight i'm going okay you know we're both maryland guys maryland fans i yeah, even yeah, yeah, michigan yeah. plus two and a half i said you know what that's probably a good pick josh we went oh for four and i mean it like some of them weren't close and since i took just straight up spread it wasn't money line yeah like, I, I had this the odds are the same to go four for four as they are oh for four and that that's where i am right now so, it, like, any trust, any faith that you're going to put into my picks this weekend, like, it, I got none. Which is concerning because I feel like we're very aligned on our picks this weekend. Very, we picked the exact same. But thing. you, you picked, you picked against. Well, I'm not saying. Well, I didn't look at the spreads. I was picking straight up to win. Oh, like, me too. I picked straight so, up. I didn't pick the spread. Yeah, so but I, 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 yeah, you're fair, fair. So Maryland did. I mean, Maryland looked good, but also I, I can't tell if Maryland's good or not. We'll find out against Purdue, I guess, right? Yeah, sure. That's a great test. It's a great test. It's not like we've played them already this year and that gone. I don't think we have. I thought we did. No. We, no, we got blown out to Michigan. Oh. Uh, no, but we beat Michigan. Michigan. So we're good. We're on the come up. Okay. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't, nothing matters in the past. In sports, it's all about the next game is the best, your best game, you know? Right. Exactly. Yeah. Patrick, I got to go to the dentist today. I'm actually not a fan of the dentist. It's the they, worst. It's it's an uncomfortable experience, and and that's coming from somebody who literally had somebody go into my mouth and snip part of my tongue. Wow. So, because I was tongue tied, Patrick, and now I and they they cut it, but I I still can't stick out my tongue though. So it's like, yeah, can't do that. Must be nice. Uh, Must be nice. But yeah, like- they. I, I respect Dennis, Josh. I respect their job. I thank them for doing the job they do, right? But it's always like yeah. an uncomfortable situation because it, 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 if you're on like a normal plan, right? Like if your teeth are kind of help, you see them, what, every six months, right? Yeah, so um, every six months. You, you don't really have a good rapport with them, you know? It's kind of like I'm a stranger kind of, but not. Yeah. And then you well, go. Well, and, and I, I'm, I've been on a streak where I've had a new dentist every single time for the past like – and it's tough. And then, like, sometimes, like, you know, like, when you try to go get a haircut and they try to do small talk, 
Well, sometimes the dentists try to do the small talk, but like literally they're holding your mouth. So it's almost impossible yeah. to talk. And then when I feel like when they stop something and I start to respond to their question, I feel like I'm holding them up from their job and I just want to get out of there. Mm-hmm. And, and then I feel rude if I'm not responding and like giving good you know, answers to the questions or trying to make conversation. And it's a tough thing, but they were kind of, she was kind of hard on me. She was like, she was like, your gums hate you. And cause, cause she was, and I'm like, no, my gums don't hate me. They love me. Cause I never do anything to them. You're the one my gums hate. You're there. She's like in their grinding. And my, and my gums are bleeding. She's like, and then she's trying to teach me how to floss. Like I don't know how to floss. Guess what? I choose not to floss, you, you know? And, and Josh, here's your coward. Take it the day. Uh, having a good dentist is like having a really, really good punter. You don't know that they're that good until you realize that you don't have any issues. And that's when you go, dang, they're really good at their job. Aren't they? That's a great take. Yeah. I, I, but I do like dentists. It was good. And I'm glad my teeth are clean and I will. And I told them, I said, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to start flossing. Cause I, I floss sometimes, but I'm going to, I'm going to start doing it consistently. Gosh, I, don't she was saying, I don't floss. She, she was saying every day. And I was like, I, you were telling me I'm going to take the time to floss every single day. Not that a chance. sounds it's crazy. Not, that's not getting built into my schedule in the day. Like there's too many other things. Yeah. going. On. Listen, I brush my teeth twice a day and that's we're lucky that happens. Yeah. We're like there's days where it's like, it's a miracle that I like out of everything that I've chosen to do in that day, that brushing the teeth twice is, has, is part of that. Well, I walked, I walked into, when I was back home, I walked into the dentist in December and, you know, I'm expecting, you know, them to tell me, Hey, you know, maybe you need to, you know, brush a little harder in these spots or something. They go, they gave me an x-ray, you know, they check them. I, they go, yeah, Everything looks yeah. good. And I'm like, how did that happen? Like, how is that possible? Well, I don't floss. Well, I don't. I had an x-ray too, Patrick. And it made me very nervous. Like they're putting, she's like outside the room, the x-ray, it looks like a barrel of a gun and it's right up against my face. Like, there's no way that can be good for me, right? And and by the way, if it's I get fine. cancer, if I get cancer because I had x-rays at the dentist, that is the biggest waste. Could like, you imagine? Could you imagine it's 2045, you're watching an NFL game, and then in the boom, in the middle of an NFL game, it's like, hello, if you went to the dentist between the years 2017 and 2024, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Yeah, I and I'm going to be so ticked off, Patrick. Because I, I could have just not had x-rays. I don't think the x- What does an x-ray do? Like my, like, what is, what are you trying to see in my teeth? Yeah, like, my teeth, isn't, isn't, like, like, isn't, like, isn't, isn't inside teeth just more teeth? You would think it would just be the, yeah, that's a good point. I, that's what I don't know. I think it's all, I don't know. Is I, it just I, a money I, laundering I, scheme? Yeah, that could be. And, and this is to all the dentists who are listening. We, I, I'm a fan of the dentist. I like just I said, we appreciate take, you. I, we appreciate that you exist. I just do not like enjoy going to the dentist. So right, that's you, that's it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think. You hey, Patrick, well. I, I feel good about our picks, though. I feel very good about our picks this week. I think that this is the I, week I we turn it I around. Have, Josh, this is the no week problem. we turn it around. Oh, Patrick, because I know the Giants are winning. That's a fact. I know the 49ers are winning. That's a fact. fact. I know the Bills are winning. That's a fact. The Jaguars might win. That Jaguars could win. That's the only game I know that I'm not. It's a toss up, you know. Oh no. Well, guys, that's the show. Hopefully, Patrick rejoins us as I do this outro. Uh, oh, he's back. And uh, and make sure you guys listen. Hey, if you're listening to us on Spotify, please hit the five star. Um, leave us a review. If you are listening to on any podcast platforms actually just leave us a nice review if you're on youtube make sure you subscribe and uh and yeah patrick that's the show i'll see you i'll see you monday hopefully uh hopefully coming off some big wins four wins in a row that's what you'll see anyway patrick you have a wonderful day i'll take it easy stay josh